Hello, welcome to another episode of Mother Goose on the Loose. My name is Julie Dries and I am the children's librarian at the Harrison Township Public Library. For those of you that have done Mother Goose on the Loose before, you know the drill. Go ahead and get those infants, toddlers, preschoolers, bring them over because we are going to have fun. If you have never done Mother Goose on the Loose before, welcome. We are so glad to have you. You will need a little one and you can watch these episodes as many times as you'd like because we do a lot of repetition. Repetition is wonderful for um, children to learn sounds, to learn words. Um, oral language is a pre-reading skill. It's a big predictor of reading success when the kids get older. Plus we do things with our hands so we're working on those motor skills too and just having a great time with your little one in your lap. Now you can put your little one right in your lap if they'll allow it and if that's comfortable for you. Or if you have a child that's a little more independent, they can watch these episodes and do the activities and rhymes and songs while they're standing up, dancing, moving around. The both options are absolutely fine. So here we go. We are going to start off with our opening rhymes. And in our opening rhymes, we sing about Mother Goose. And I'm going to put my bear in my lap, just like you might have a little one in your lap. And if you have a baby especially, you can help them do the motions by taking their hands and helping them do things. Or you might choose to do things in front of their face so that they can watch your hands moving. Our first rhyme is Old Mother Goose. We're going to tap our legs. So here we go. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Let's do that one again. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Now we're going to do one more song about Mother Goose and her gander, this time focusing on the gander. Goosey, goosey gander. Tap your legs a little bit faster for this one. Goosey, goosey gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. Do a little hug there at the end. And those are our opening rhymes. And we have our dicky birds is another one that we always do at the beginning. So we take our hands and we turn them into fists and you can help your little one put their fists out in front. These are our dicky birds. One is named soft, so we say that very quietly. And the other one's name is loud, so we can use our loud voices for that. Make them bounce. Two little dicky birds sitting in a cloud. One named soft, the other named loud. Fly away soft. Fly away, loud. Come back, soft. Come back, loud. We have all our dicky birds back now. Our story today is a short little story. And the title is Black Bird, Yellow Sun. The author is Steve Light. And we're going to see if our little ones can guess some colors. So this is a great book to talk about colors with your child. Here he is, black bird. And what color is the sun here? It's the yellow sun. Black bird, yellow sun. Black bird, here he is. What color are these leaves that you see in the trees? Do you know the color? Orange leaves. The leaves are orange. Here's our black bird. He's eating some grapes. What color are these grapes? Do you know the color? They are purple grapes. Oh, looks like somebody else is eating the grapes too. We've got a little worm helping him out over there. Purple grapes. Black bird, he's in some grass. What color is this grass? Yeah, it's green, green grass. And do you see our friend over there? There's our friend, the worm. I think our little worm friend shows up on all the pages. We'll see if we can find him on the next one too. Black bird, oh, what color is this? 
color is this big snake here? Do you know that color? It's a red snake. Is our worm on this page? See him? Yep. Right there. There's our worm friend. Blackbird, red snake. Blackbird. What color are these rocks? What color do you see here? Gray rocks. Black bird, gray rocks. Black bird. Look at the flowers. What color are the flowers? Pink. Pink flowers. There's our little guy. And there's our friend. Black bird. Oh, he's in front of the moon. What color does the moon look like in this picture? Sometimes the moon can look like different colors. In this picture, it's a blue moon. Black bird, blue moon. And what color is our little guy that we've been looking at, our little worm there? He's orange, isn't he? Our orange worm was our friend in this story. So that is our story of Black Bird, Yellow Sun by Steve Light. You ready for some more rhymes? All right, we're going to bring out one of our friends next and you get to sing along with her. Get your wings ready to flap because I think you know who this is going to be. Here she comes. Do you know the song? It's Mrs. Perky Bird and we flap our wings while Mrs. Perky Bird sings, Good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird, Perky Bird, Perky Bird. Good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying through the air, the air, air, the air, air, the air. I'm flying through the air, the air, and down to the ground. She loves coming out to say good morning to you. Can you wave bye to Mrs. Perky Bird? Say bye, Mrs. Perky Bird. She's going to hang out with us for a little while and watch the rest of our episode here. So she's not going very far. We'll put her right there. Does that sound good? Okay. How about some body rhymes now? We start off with our same couple for repetition. And our first one that we do is called I Winker. Tom Tinker. And we're going to be pointing to some things on our faces. So you can point yourself or you can help your little one point things out on their faces. I winker. Point to the other eye. Tom Tinker. Point to your nose. Nose smeller. Where's your mouth? Mouth eater. How about your chin? Chin chopper, chin chopper. Now we do a tickle. Great big belly whomper. Tickle, 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 tickle. Can we get some giggles out of that one? Now we're going to do a garden snail. So you can put one of your arms out, put one of your child's arms out, and we're going to take two fingers and we're going to creep up their arm. And when we're done with that one, we're going to creep up the other arm and we go to it uh, like a little chin tickle at the end here. So we go slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Now let's do the other hand. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden rail. Now we're going to go fast. You ready to do it fast? Quickly, quickly, very quickly goes a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly all around the house. And that was our garden snail and our mouse. We start off slow and then we go fast. How about a classic patty cake song? All right, we know patty cake, right? All right, let's pat our legs. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Let's do some rolling. Roll it, tap it, pat it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. Very good. You can
could do that one too if you want to face your little one and do the patty cake like this too. Obviously that's another way to do it. So all kinds of different hand motions we can do with patty cake. Now it's time for knee bounces. So with our knee bounces, if you don't have your kiddos on your lap right now, you might want to put them up there because this is really fun to do in a lap. If your kids still don't want to be in a lap, that is fine. They can march, they can dance, they can do the motion standing, but these are considered knee bounces. So I'm going to keep my bear on my knee for these. And we're going to row our boats. So we need our oars. Get your oars in your hand. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. It's a nice day for rowing boats today. And now we're going to do seesaw scare down. So on this one, we go up and down with our knees. So we rock the kiddos back and forth, kind of. And if you're standing, this is a marching song. So they can get their knees up nice and high. Seesaw scare a down. This is the way to London town. One knee up and the other knee down. This is the way to London town. See, saw, scare a down. This is the way to Harrison Township. One knee up and the other knee down. This is the way to Harrison Township. That one's always a favorite. Now we're gonna do some horse riding, okay? So we're going to start off, we're going to do, this is the way the ladies ride. And we start off kind of slow and gentle. This is the way the ladies ride. Nim, nim, nim. Now faster. This is the way the gentlemen ride. Trim, trim, trim. Now up and down. This is the way the farmer rides. Trot, trot, trot. You ready for the horseman? This is the way the horseman rides. Gal, 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 Go really fast on this one. That is a fun one. The faster the better, right? Okay, how about we do our syllable clapping? Uh, every Mother Goose on the Loose, we practice clapping syllables in different words. At the library, when we do this program together, I have a tambourine, and I have the children tap the syllables to their name on a tambourine. But we're going to just clap syllables, and this is a perfect way to practice this skill at home, because you don't always have a tambourine just lying around. So we're gonna clap syllables. Um, syllable clapping is important because it allows children to hear the chunks in words. And that, again, is a pre-reading skill. So it's a listening and also kind of a speaking thing that we can practice with our children on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's do some things that we find around the house. We're gonna clap pillow. I have a pillow. So let's listen to that word and we're going to clap pillow. Pillow. Do that with me. Pillow. We hear two chunks or two syllables in pillow. Let's clap the syllables or sounds in blanket. Say blanket. Let's clap it. Blanket. How many syllables or chunks did we hear? Two. That one also has two. Two syllables or two chunks in blanket. Very good. Let's see what else do I have around here. Oh, you know what I have? For later on, I'm going to use my ukulele as my instrument back here. Ukulele. That's probably the longest one we've ever done. Let's see if we can clap that word. Say ukulele. Ukulele. Oh my gosh, that has a lot of syllables. Let's count it on our fingers. Ukulele. Four syllables in that word. That's a long one, isn't it? Yeah. So you can practice that with things around your house, anything within arm's reach, practice clapping the syllables. Great pre-reading skill for your kiddos. Now, speaking of the ukulele, we're going to do a little stand-up game with my ukulele here today. So I'm gonna stay seated here, but I want kids up, and if you have a little one, a baby, you can stand with them and bounce to this one. We're gonna play a stopping game. So I'm going to play on the ukulele. I'm gonna give you a motion or a movement to do. And we're going to do it until I say stop. I'm gonna say stop, you freeze. And don't move, 
until we start playing again and I give you another motion to do. So right now, let's start by marching. Can you march in your, in your we're gonna march around the room, okay? So you can just listen to me, here we go. I'm marching, I'm marching, I'm marching round the room. I'm marching, I'm marching, I'm marching round the room. I wonder when I'll stop. I wonder when I'll stop. I wonder when I'll stop. Did you stop? Okay, let's try a new motion. Let's bounce. Ready to bounce? I'm bouncing, I'm bouncing, I'm bouncing round the room. Are you bouncing pretty quickly there? Okay, how about twirling? How about we twirl in some circles? If you start getting dizzy, start going the other way so you don't fall over. Let's twirl. I'm twirling, I'm twirling, I'm twirling round the room. I'm twirling, I'm twirling, I'm twirling round the room. I wonder when I'll stop. 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 <laughs> Okay, let's do one more. How about hopping? Can you put one foot up and try hopping until I say stop? Let's try. I'm hopping, I'm hopping, I'm hopping round the room. I'm hopping, I'm hopping, I'm hopping round the room. I wonder when I'll stop. 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 When I'll stop. Did you stop or did you fall over? It's okay if you fall over. Hopping is hard to do. It just takes some practice, doesn't it? Let's put away the ukulele and we will continue on here because I have some animals who want to come out. We're going to visit a farm and see some animals and I need you to help me make some animal noises. So let's see who we find on our farm. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a pig along the way. What do you think this pig did say? What does a pig say? Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> you got it. Wave to the piggy. Say bye, piggy. Bye, piggy. Let's go back to the farm. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a cow along the way. What do you think this cow did say? What does a cow say? Moo, moo. Are you making cow noises? Very good. Let's wave to the cow and say, bye cow. Give him one more moo, moo. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a sheep along the way. What do you think this sheep did say? What does a sheep say? What does he say? Ba ba. Can you make the sheep sound and say ba bye sheep? Ba bye. And I have one more animal that we're going to see on the farm today. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a horse along the way. What do you think this horse did say? Let's hear your best horse noises. What does a horse say? Nay, nay. Can you go? Yeah, horses sometimes do that too, don't they? All right, say bye to the horse. Bye, horsey. Bye, horsey. We are going to do some instruments, some musical instruments. Um, today we're going to do a couple of bell songs. So I know that it's not something that you always have around your house. If you want to pause the video and go grab something, feel free to grab anything that shakes, really. I mean, you could use a shaker type thing. Um, you might have some bells from like in Christmas decorations or some other kind of household decoration. Maybe, maybe you hang a bell by the door for your dogs. That's what this one is for for me. I'm going to grab the bells that we use for Mother Goose on the Loose when we do it at the library. 
and we're going to sing a couple of songs. If you don't have something to shake, you can just dance, okay? So we're going to ring our bells together. We ring our bells together, together, together. We ring our bells together because it's fun to do. Ring them up high, ring them down low. Ring them low, ring them high, ring them low. Ring them in the middle, so. Ring them high, ring them low. Ring them in the middle, so. Now we're going to sing in three different languages. We're going to sing in English, in French, and in Spanish. So, this is Are You Sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonne les matines, sonne les matines, ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Fray Felipe, Fray Felipe, duermes tú, duermes tú. Toca la campana, toca la campana. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Get those bells one last shake if you got them. And we're going to set those aside and move into a lullaby. Twinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Mother Goose and Mrs. Perky Bird out of the way to do one of our fan favorites here, Humpty Dumpty. We know the words to Humpty Dumpty, so you can say them along with me. And we like to make Humpty Dumpty, he likes to jump. So we help Humpty Dumpty jump. And we do this live at the library. Um, the kids get to take turns, so we do this as a turn-taking activity where each child gets to come up if they'd like and help Humpty jump off the wall. So say the rhyme with me. How does it go? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. But he pops right back up and he's ready for another jump. And that brings us to our very last song. We do Can You Kick With Two Feet as our closing rhyme. So get those feet ready and kick them. Can you kick with two feet, two feet, two feet? Can you kick with two feet, two feet now? Can you clap with two hands, two hands, two hands? Can you clap with two hands, two hands now? Can you wave with one hand, one hand, one hand? Can you wave with one hand and say goodbye? <laughs> goodbye, and thank you for joining us for Mother Goose on the Loose. Don't forget to check out the rest of our episodes on YouTube and rewatch these as often as you want to help your kiddos get to know all the songs and all the actions. Take care.